This News Alert brought to you by Casarina All Sports Club. All your entertainment under one roof. Good evening. Territory Alliance has revealed its water policy, promising to invest $150 million in infrastructure. The party says it will provide jobs and water security, but Terry Mills is still being forced to defend his controversial fracking ban. 50 days and counting until the polls open and Territory Alliance has announced its newest policy. You can have pipe dreams, but we're talking about a, a real pipe. Promising, if elected, to spend $150 million with work to start as early as October to build a water pipeline. From Darwin River Dam to Manton Dam. The scoping studies, the feasibility has already been conducted. To provide water security to enable industry to diversify. The role of government is to ensure that we have the right policy setting so we have the security going forward that, so that people are unencumbered and free to grow the economy. But that doesn't include growing the economy by fracking. Terry Mills still forced to defend his banned backflip. Territorians are doing it tough and people need certainty. Territorians know they can't trust Terry Mills. He hiked their power up by 30% and you cannot trust him with the environment or economic development. A sensible approach is to recognise that you've got to have community support for it. Secondly, the economics of it do not stack up. But the private sector remains frustrated, arguing government doesn't make that call. There's been plenty of studies done that show there is economic viability. The economic drivers and, and industry itself should make those decisions. It remains to be seen if the promised ban works against the new party, with Labor and the CLP reportedly considering preferencing each other over Territory Alliance. Kathleen Gazzola, Nine News. Thousands of dollars worth of football equipment will be donated to remote communities across Arnhem Land this month. Former AFL star Sean Edwards is driving the project, literally, loading up his Land Cruiser for the adventure. When you're hitting the road for a couple of weeks, there's plenty to stock up on. And on this trip out to Arnhem Land, Sean Edwards certainly isn't packing lightly. Yeah, we've got over 200 footballs, we've got backpacks, football guernseys. Uh, we've got $2,000 worth of children's books. Basically everything that you need um, to run a football club will be taken out there. The former AFL star grew up in Gunbalanya and Darwin. He was recently awarded a fellowship from his old boarding school to organise a community project. And pairing his love for the game with a passion to boost professionalism in remote areas, he'll be hand delivering equipment to clubs and schools across Arnhem Land. I've been pretty lucky um, to have a little bit of a profile through footy. Um, that I can shine a light on these areas and, and you know, challenge people to, to give back to these communities. I want to build a bridge between my old school, Melbourne Grammar and, and the Arnhem Land region. Sean managed to raise $20,000 in two weeks to purchase the equipment, as well as rounding up used boots and clothes. A local sports store also chipped in an extra $1,000 worth of gear. Sean's involved with St Mary's and um, I've had a long history at St Mary's as well and it was a close link and yeah, just happy to, I guess, jump on board and help. Sean and one of his teammates from Saints will hit the road on Monday. I I just really want to encourage people that um, you can use sport as a vehicle um, for, for social good. First stop, Nullumboy. Ellie Conway, Nine News. Thank you for joining us to stay up to date. Follow Nine News Darwin on Facebook.